Hey and welcome to the Daily Manchester United News show. Let's begin with our daily news. Ahmad Diallo leaves the stadium on crutches after unfortunate injury in Arsenal friendly. Manchester United winger Ahmad Diallo was spotted leaving the MetLife Stadium on crutches after suffering a twisted ankle in the friendly win over Arsenal. The Red Devils continue with their final preseason campaign with a comfortable 2-0 win over the Gunners. Bruno Fernandes and Jaden Sancho scored the goals in the opening half. At the break, manager Eric Ten Hag completely changed the outfit lineup. Ahmad was one of those introduced, but he went down after just 10 minutes, holding his left ankle. The £19 million pound signing was spotted lamping off the field before being replaced by Facundo Pellestri. Manchester Evening News have now reported that Ahmad left after the game on crutches with his ankle strapped. The 21-year-old had a productive loan spell with Sunderland last season, scoring 14 goals and providing 4 assists from 43 appearances across all competitions. In the current preseason, he has lacked the cutting edge in front of goal, but has shown glimpses of his quality with his impressive movement in the final third. Ahmad suffered the setback yesterday with nobody around him. He struggled to walk off the field, but we hope that the injury is only a short term one for the winger. If he has twisted his ankle, we could see him back on the pitch in a few weeks, but a ligament damage could put him out of first team action for a prolonged period. The injury blow has come at the wrong time for Ahmad. He is currently the subject of loan interest from Feyenoord, who recently won the Dutch top flight title. The air device outfit were on the cusp of landing Ahmad on loan back in the summer of 2021, before he suffered a thigh problem in a training with the Red Devils. Donny van de Beek could be on his way out after Eric Ten Hag snap for Arsenal friendly. Manchester United midfielder Donny van de Beek could be on his way out this summer after being an unused substitute against Arsenal last night. The Dutchman recently made his first appearance since his recovery from an injury against Lyon. He made an instant impact scoring the winner with a lovely volley in the 49th minute. Following the game, the Netherlands international acknowledged that he could leave United this summer and that could soon become a reality. Judging by his absence on the pitch yesterday, the midfielder has been training for the past few weeks with the first team squad, but he did not play a single minute against the Gunners at the Met Life Stadium and stayed on the bench. Bruno Fernandes, Mason Mount, and Kobe Mainu were manager Eric Ten Hag's preferred midfield trio to start and were replaced with Christian Eriksen, Scott McTominay and Casimero at the break. There was no place for Van de Beek over 90 minutes, and this should raise questions over his future at United, considering the club are looking to secure additional funds from a player sales. Alex Dallas has already made the switch to Al Nasser. Eric Bailly could follow him to the Saudi Arabian club, while Anthony Ilanga and Dean Henderson could be on their way to Nottingham Forest. With probably another midfielder coming in after Mason Mount, there is a good possibility that Van de Beek could leave alongside Fred, who has already been put up for sale by United. The £35 million pound signing should attract the transfer bids from potential suitors, having completely recovered from his injury setback during the back end of the 22-23 campaign. Kobe Maino stars for Man United in impressive 2 0 friendly win over Arsenal. Manchester United graduate Kobe Maino continued with his final preseason form during the 2 0 win over Arsenal at the Met Life Stadium in New Jersey. The 18 year old had fantastic outings against Leeds United and Lyon recently, and there were no surprises that he got the nod in the starting 11 last night. The youngster started in the number six role, but he was hugely impressive with his movement from the right flank. He won 100% of his ground duels. Maino completed 23 out of his 24 passes with an accuracy of 96%. He provided the assist for Bruno Fernandes' goal, scored on the counter-attack. 
The teenager was substituted alongside the rest of his outfield teammates at the break, but it was another performance with a big statement from him. There has been much talk about United investing on a second midfielder this summer. They have brought in Mason Mount to strengthen the creative midfield department, but there are suggestions that a new defensive midfielder could be signed too. Fiorentina Sofian Mrabat has been linked in recent weeks, though he currently prefers a move to the Spanish La Liga with interest from Barcelona and Atletico Madrid. If Maino can continue to impress in the same way against the likes of Real Madrid and Borussia Dortmund, he could change the stance of manager Eric Ten Hag. Ten Hag clearly trusts the ability of the youngster and has decided against loaning him out. Maino could take the next step to become a key member of the first team squad. He can play anywhere in midfield, which is his main strength. He could be an understudy for the likes of Casimero, Mount and Bruno Fernandes. He could get plenty of minutes. Eric Ten Hag's one call against Arsenal shows Harry Maguire has fallen further down the pecking order. Harry Maguire's fall from grace at Manchester United has been extremely quick and big. Once the ever-present captain of the club, he is not even a first-team player anymore, let alone the captain. Furthermore, one decision by Eric Ten Hag during the preseason fixture against Arsenal might point to him falling further down the pecking order. At the start of the second half, with United leading 2-0, Ten Hag opted to change the team, as he has done in every game so far. On came Maguire while Bruno Fernandes, the new permanent captain, came off the pitch. Maguire's dwindling influence was stamped in Ten Hag's call, which had Casimiro take the captain's armband instead of the English defender. It hints at the Brazilian being one of the manager's preferred choices for the vice-captain role. Casimiro joined the club just last summer and has already turned it into a huge fan favorite. He is regularly the vocal leader on the pitch while being able to rally the supporters around him. Therefore, it doesn't come as a big surprise, but it's still another blow to Maguire's standing at the club, who doesn't even appear to be in Ten Hag's consideration for a deputy leadership role of any kind. Maguire was stripped of captaincy, as he is not a guaranteed first team anymore, with Lisandro Martinez and Rafael Varane having those spots on lock. He has even been made available for a transfer, with United knocking back a loan bid from West Ham United for the defender. He played just 756 minutes in the Premier League last season, a far cry from his time under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer when he was the first name on the team sheet. Ten Hag had said last season that Maguire needs to take a decision on his future hinting that he had become dispensable to the manager's plans. Manchester United hold talks with the club for attacker with 40 goal contributions. Manchester United have been linked with a move for the French international striker Randall Colomouani. The 24-year-old had an impressive campaign with Eintracht Frankfurt and a report from Football Insider claims that Manchester United have now held talks with the striker's representatives and the German club. Apparently, the German outfit are holding out for a fee of around £80 million. It will be interesting to see if Manchester United are willing to shell out that kind of money for the 24-year-old. Cole Mouani picked up 23 goals and 17 assists across all competitions last season, and he is only going to get better with coaching and experience. Manchester United needs someone to lead the line for them next season so that Marcus Rashford can operate in his natural role as the left-sided winger. Colo Mouani would be the ideal acquisition for the Red Devils. The 24-year-old has all the attributes to develop into a complete forward and it remains to be seen whether Manchester United submit an official proposal to sign him. They certainly have the resources to pay the reported £80 million asking price, but it's fair to assume that Manchester United will have to get rid of their French players first. The Red Devils will look to compete for the league title next season and they will want to do well in the Champions League as well. 
a quality striker could make a huge difference for them in the final third. Kolomuani is not the only striker Manchester United have on their radar, and they are thought to be looking at the Atalanta forward Rasmus Foyland as well. Manchester United could make a move for Roma star Paolo Dybala. According to Benjamin Goddard of the Express, Premier League side Manchester United could make a move for Roma star Paolo Dybala in the summer transfer window. The Argentine international swapped Juventus for Rome last summer and has developed into a key player for Jose Mourinho. He was also a part of the Argentina squad that lifted the FIFA World Cup in Qatar last year. An attacking midfielder who can also play up top if required, Dybala is a dynamic player who is capable of making a difference in the final third. Manchester United could definitely use some inspiration in the attack. What makes a move for Dybala tempting is the player's £10.38 million release clause. The prospect of landing one of Serie A's finest attackers for a knockdown price is certainly something we should not ignore. It's now a race against time as Dybala's release clause expires at the end of this month. At 29, the Argentine has a good few years left in him at the top level. Whether the Red Devils will indeed make a move remains to be seen. Big meeting in Milan paves the way for official Man United bid for Rasmus Hoyland. A high-profile meeting has taken place in Milan over the transfer from Atalanta to Manchester of striker Rasmus Hoyland, according to a new report. Footmircato reporter Santi Auna claims that a meeting took place this week in Milan between Atalanta Bergamo and several intermediaries Paolo Bissardo, Frank Trimboli, Paolo Figora to make progress on Rasmus Hoyland deal in Man United. It's no secret that United are looking to sign a striker in this transfer window and, as the likes of Harry Kane and Victor Osiman have been priced out of their reach by their selling clubs, the Red Devils' attention turned to the young Dane. He has been described by the media as a player that United boss Eric Ten Hag loves. Personal terms have reportedly been agreed for some time, but there has been a massive gulf in the respective valuations of the two clubs. Many figures have been bandied about in different reports, with United's valuation said to be between 35 million euros and 70 million euros, and Atalanta's between 60 million euros and 100 million euros. There have also been conflicting reports about whether the Red Devils have already lodged a bid or not. A further complication has arisen in regard to Paris Saint-Germain, who are reported to be redying their own bid as they prepare for life after Lionel Messi, who has moved to enter Miami, and Kylian Mbappé, who has been a transfer listed. Santi Auna also confirms that an official offer for Atalanta is expected in the next few days from United but that PSG are also in talks with the player's father. It has also been reported that the Bergamo side have already lined up a replacement for the 20-year-old, who scored nine Serie A goals last year. This is said to be Almeria's El Bilal Touré. Manchester United could prioritize move for 26-year-old after impressive World Cup. Manchester United could reportedly prioritize a move for the Fiorentina midfielder Sofiane Mrabit after signing a striker. According to journalist Alfredo Pedula, Manchester United have three midfielders on their shortlist and the Moroccan international happens to be one of them. The 26-year-old has had an impressive World Cup campaign with Morocco and it remains to be seen whether he can make his mark in the Premier League next season. He is in the final year of his contract with the Italian club and the Fiorentina will be under pressure to sell him in the summer. Manchester United could use a combative presence in the middle of the park and Mrabat is certainly the ideal fit for them. The 26-year-old impressed everyone with his aggressive performances in the World Cup and he has the qualities to succeed in the Premier League as well. He could be the ideal partner for Casimero at the heart of Eric Ten Hag's midfield next season. Alfredo Padula claims that Manchester United are currently looking to sign a striker first and then they will look to make a move for the midfielders. The Red Devils have been linked with the players like Rasmus Hoyland as they look to improve their attacking options. Fabrizio Romano said on Mrabit links 
Amrabat is on their list, they like him, they want to negotiate for him, but there is no bid yet. Fiorentina wants something like 35 to 40 million euros, and at the moment United's focus is on a new striker anyway, as they target Rasmus Hoyland. After that, they will look at a potential new midfielder and a new centre-back. Outgoings will also be crucial, and United are convinced that Fred will leave the club. This will be an important first step, and then they can focus on him, Robert. I will be uploading daily Manchester United news, so keep your eyes on the channel, and don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate your support. Peace out.